Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a free plugin to create tables in a WordPress website. If you're not using any page builder and if you want to create responsive tables using the default Gutenberg block editor, then you can use this free plugin. Let me show you some example of tables that I have created using this free plugin. This is a pre-designed template. This plugin also has pre-designed templates that you can use to create tables. This is a sample table that I have created. This is one of the pre-designed pricing table then you can see the comparison table this is pros and cons table this is featured box table so there are many different pre-built tables that you can use to create tables in a WordPress website. You do not need any page builder. It works with the default Gutenberg block editor. The name of the plugin is Tablebug. So I'm going to show you how you can install this free plugin and how you can customize the tables or how you can use the pre-designed layouts to create tables in a WordPress website. This plugin has free as well as premium version. I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version also. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create tables in a WordPress website. Here, I'm not using any page builder. I'm going to create table using the default Gutenberg block editor. The name of the plugin is Tableberg. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for Tableberg. This is the plugin table block by Tableberg. This plugin is comparatively a new plugin. So I'm going to install it. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so you will be on the dashboard of this plugin settings. In the left hand panel, you will see the option table bug and you will be on the dashboard. Here you can watch the welcome video. If you want more information, you can go to the documentation or you can go to the support forum, All right? So here I'm not going to make any changes. If I go to blocks, you will see the blocks which are available for the free plugin, paragraph, list, image, button. In the pro plugin, you will get styled list, ribbon, icon pro, custom, HTML, star rating. So if you want to add star rating in tables, then you can go for the pro plugin. So we are going to start with the free plugin only. Let's go to pages and open one of the pages. I have one sample page here. So I'm going to click on edit the sample page. I have some information here, so I'm going to delete this one. So click on the plus sign here and search for table bug. You will see it here. Otherwise, you can search for table bug or you can search for table. This is the default table block and here you will see table bug. Let's click on it and it will add the block. Now, if you want to use pre-designed or pre-built tables, you will see the option here. Let's click on it and you will see some pre-designed tables here and here you will see filter options if you're looking for pricing table you can go to pricing table there are eight pricing tables not all the tables are for the free version some of them are for the pro version you will see this table is for the pro version let's use one of the table which is available for the free plugin let's click on it and you will see that the table is added on the page now you can customize it. You can simply click on this text or the content and you can change it. This is content. You can change it. This is the pricing. You can also change this. If you want to customize this, you can select it. And from here, you can change the color for this particular text. This is the size. You can change the size just like this. And you can also change the margin color. This is the link color. You can change the link color. And this is the text color. You can change the text color. All right, you will see the change in the color. So you can also customize the pre-built template. If I want to customize the table itself, I can click on the table icon. And from here, you can change the settings of this particular table. Fixed width cell is enabled. You can disable it. Disable header. Right now, the header is disabled. If you want to insert header, you can insert the header. Simply enable this option and you will see the option for the header. Here you can enter some text or the content for the header of the table. I do not want to insert the header, so I'm going to disable the header. Disable the footer. Right now, there is no footer, so it is already disabled. If you want to insert footer, you can insert it from here. 
From here, you can change the table width. Currently, it is set to pixel. I'm going to change it to percentage and let's make it 100%. So the width will be 100%. You can change the alignment also. And it is center aligned. You can also change the width. Below that, we have tablet view, the mobile view. Let's change it to mobile view and enable the breakpoint. You will see the breakpoint is enabled. Then you can change the mode to stack cells and all the cells will be stacked and width will be again 100%. Now you need to play with the settings and you need to change the width and the style settings. If you want to change it to tablet, you can change it to tablet. This is how it will look on the tablet. Again, you can change the settings for the tablet. Currently it is set to 82%. Let's make it 100% for the tablet. Then this is for the desktop. So this is how it will look on the desktop. So you can play with the settings and you can change the style settings of this table. If I go to style settings here, you will see you can change the header background color. You can also change even row background color, odd row background color or the footer background color. This one is a pre-built table. I'm going to create a new one. Let's add another block here, table bug. And we are going to create a table from blank you will see i can change the column count or the row count let's say i want five row and three columns and click on create and it is going to create one blank table which you can customize then header is disabled you can insert the header so here you can enter the header if you want to add any block in this cell you can click on plus sign and from here you can add the block now we have four different options here paragraph list button or image so here i'm going to add paragraph and uh, let's name it as product so this is the header for this column In the second column again i want to add a paragraph and i am going to name it as image then i want to add link so this will be link. so we have three columns in the first column let's say i am going to add product one in the second column I want to add image then I can click on the plus sign and search for the image I can upload the image or if you already have it in media library then you can use it from the media library so you can add image in this column and if you want you can also add button so it will be a link to the button again I'm going to customize it let's say click here and I can link this button to the product page Let's say I want to link it to google.com so I can add google.com here and when someone clicks on it, it will go to google.com. Let's align it to the center and you can also change the color settings for this button. Background color, you can change the background color of the button. Click here. So this is the first column. In the second column, we can add another product. Let's say product two. Again, you can add image, select the block image and upload the image. Then you can add button here again and you can change the color settings again. Again, in the next three rows, we can add different products. Now let's go to the table settings here and now go to customization. This is for the header background color. I can change the header background color just like this. Then this is the even row background color. So for the even row, we can change the background color. Let's use this one. So this is the even row. And if I go to odd row, I can change the color for the odd row. So this is how it is going to look for the odd row and for the even row. Then we have footer background color. Currently, we do not have any footer here, but we can add the footer. Below that, we have cell padding. If you want to enable cell padding, you can add the padding for the cell. This is for the top and bottom. This is for the left and right. Cell spacing. If you want to add spacing between cells, you can enable this one. Just like this. With that we have table border. This is for the entire table. You can change the border. Just like this. This is the border for the entire table. You can also add a radius, the border radius for the table. Then below that we have inner border. If you want to add inner border, you can add inner border. You will see the inner border here. Then we have a row border for the pro version. So these options are available for the pro version only. You can change the font color from here. This is the global font color. 
whatever content you add in this table, it will have white color. And this is the global link color. Okay, now here I can change the even and odd draw color. Let's make it somewhat more dark. Okay, so the white color will look here. So this is the table that we created using the custom rows and columns. I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin. I do have the pro version. I'm going to install it and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro version. I have it downloaded. So I'm going to upload the plugin and click on install now. Let me show you the pricing of the pro version. This is the website of the plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. If there is any discount coupon code, I'll mention that in the description box. The pro version of the plugin will cost you $49 per year. You will get access to all pro features, priority support, unlimited sites, and one year updates. All right, let's go back. The plugin is installed. Click on actuate plugin. It will ask you for the license key. You need to enter the license key of the pro version. However, I already entered the license key and I'm back to the dashboard of the plugin. Now let's go to the page again and let's refresh it. Now I'm going to add another block here. Click on the plus sign, search for table bug. Here you can see that upcoming features for this table bug plugin. You can create a data table using CSV and XML. You can also create WooCommerce table, AI table and post table. These features are still upcoming, not yet released. Click on the pre-built table. Now you will see that we will have access to all the pro templates. Let's go to pricing table here. And let's try this one. All right, so you can see that we have added the pricing table. And if I go to style settings, you will see the pre-designed style settings are there. This is the header background color, even row color or draw color. And if you want to change the color settings, you can change it from here. If you want to change the content in any cell, you can simply go to the cell, select the content and you can change it from here. Let's say I want to make it a basic plan. So you can simply start typing basic plan. You can change the content here. This is the list. You can change the list here. This is a button. If you want to insert row, you can insert the row also. Let's insert one more row here. Click on the plus sign and you can get access to all these blocks. You can also add star rating. Let's click on star rating and let's make it five star. All right, so you can see that we have added one star rating here. Click on the plus sign. Let's click on browse all and let's see which other options do we have here. So we can add a ribbon. If you want to add ribbon, you can also add ribbon. So it will show the ribbon here for this particular block. So this is the ribbon. Click on the plus sign again and click on browse all. And you can add any one of these blocks here. Let's try icon. So this is the icon. You can change the icon from here. Let's save it and click on plus sign again. And let's try another layout here. We have comparison table here. So this is the comparison table. If you want to add comparison table for the products, you can use the pre-built template for that one. This one also looks good. Let's try this one. All right, so you will see it here. If you want to change the style settings, you can go to this option and from here you can change the style settings. Let's try another one pros and cons all right so this layout also looks good try this one and this is how it will look you can change the content according to your requirement featured box all right so this is how it will look let's save it and let's see how does this look on the actual page let's click on view page all right so all the tables look good so this is the custom table that we created. This is another pre-designed table. This is comparison, then pros and cons and featured box. So this is how you can create tables in a WordPress website using a free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.